Alright guys, so I found four screws right along here, right underneath where the battery pack goes, which is different. So, I took out those four screws, and I'm going to see what it just loosened up. And it looks like... Okay, it just looks like another, uh more motherboard screws. There's two screws right here on the back of these plastic tray. This plastic tray that goes over the power button. Just go ahead and take those out. The only thing I don't like about gateway laptops is they use several different screw sizes. Dell uses like four different screw sizes. Gateway, I found four different screw sizes already and as you can see I haven't even gotten the laptop open. So imagine what kind of a hassle that is. Now, I just took out screws right there. So we're going to try and see if maybe there's some like lifting or prying we have to do. Okay, so it is kind of like a Dell, just more difficult. You just pop this top panel out right here. You can see it coming out. Monitor, keyboard. There it goes. The strip right there along the top. I'm gonna have to take a break. Been taking exams at school all week. My head's been looking down at my desk all week, hurting. Alright. Now, well, here's already a worse flaw than Dell. Dell has two screws right here at the top of the keyboard, but look at that. I just popped that out using a single finger. They do not have their keyboard screwed down at all. So that's kind of embarrassing for them. And also, they use an embarrassing ribbon system. Not too bright. That ribbon system is a pain in the butt to get back in this tiny little socket for the amount of room they give you. Not fun. So, let's go ahead and uh, Start getting a little more of the guts taken off. Now as you just start to pull around, you feel the top of the panel coming off. Now it looks like for this one, it opens from up here. Now right here, this wire is for the power and the data for the monitor. This wire right here, over to the right, this wire leads from the wireless card underneath, the slot underneath you saw. This is the antenna and it goes all up and around. So when you have your laptop open, you get a lot of range sucking it in all those antennas all around. So, uh, yep. Man, more screw sizes, jeez. Well, it looks like they're socketed so I can just put them back in there. these wires should just yep and just pop out like that and you just pull this get it out from these clips pull it up from the tape and there you go
There's the monitor, completely separate from the computer. Now, all you have is the guts. You'd be surprised at how light this is, guys. I'd say this is as heavy as a keyboard. I mean, it's really light, just like a plastic standard Microsoft keyboard. All right. Now we see the top, and we have set screws in the top. Okay, we have one here, one here, and one here. So you unscrew those, and then, oh yeah, I'm going to screw these monitor screws back in so I don't get them confused with any other screw. Because it's not like you're going to need those sockets again until you put the monitor back in. Perfect, that's what I like to see. You can just pop them back in. And then when you go to put the actual component back on, you're just like, oh, well, I see the screws right there, so all I have to do is take them out and you just put them back in. So now you can see me taking out these three screws up top to release the plastic housing from the motherboard. And the curious thing is, is the motherboard attached to this silver top panel or the black bottom panel? If they're a good producer, they'll be attached to the bottom. The motherboard will be attached to the bottom panel. So, let's see about that. Hmm, is there a screw I missed? Oh, there's two screws I missed. Because they are underneath the CD tray. Which is odd. I've never seen that before. It'd be more si different size screws. Yeah, those. This is always fun. God, love those tiny little screws in this. Yeah, I heard two come out there. there. Jesus Christ. Alright, I'll put them over. The other one's keyboard can go under the way. Alright, eight minutes. Now, here we go. Should pry off now. Huh. Let's hope there's no more screws. It's kind of feeling like there's one more. You hear that? Or it's just. Yep, there's one more. There's four top set screws, guys. I'm sorry. There it goes. That was unusually easy to unscrew. I think it was loose. Okay. Again with that little clip. You pull that black latch up. And it releases the trackpad ribbon. Right there. For your trackpad in the front. So the motherboard was not attached to the back. That's good. Now here's the MOBO itself. Right there. You can see it. It looks clean for the most part. This is all component protecting material. It's aluminum on this side, plastic coated aluminum on this side, and on the back side it's black plastic. So that way none of the materials or components connect and create a short circuit. Right here you have your VGA component adapter. Right there. You have your battery. You unplug that to change anything you did to the BIOS and everything else is just basic speakers right here uh, front audio ports, headphone, microphone these are your two mouse buttons USB port, Ethernet, phone jack, more USB there's a card reader somewhere, yeah card reader is under here same with Firewire 1394 so that's the basic inside of a laptop, guys. Basic teardown, basic build up. Um, yeah, but later on I'll be posting more videos of different types of laptops. I'll probably do my Dell laptop. I have a Dell Vostro 1000, as you guys saw the unpacking video of a few years ago. So, uh, yeah, thanks, guys. Talk to you later.